day gentlemen now we are going to discuss this electro hydraulic control system we have here the diagram that's what we can see hydraulic system we have the hydraulic pump the gates here in our and then the throttling bulb the line coming from the pump goes into the hydraulic directional bulb pass by into pipe going in back into the sump tank passing through the filter and we have here the relief bulb okay we have here the four three-way directional valve connected with two solenoids and two return springs and we have here the double acting cylinder with ls1 or ls2 limit switch one and limit switch two. and we have here the electrical control circuit to be controlled to run the electro hydraulic system now what are the necessary components in the hydraulic side of course we have the hydraulic pump we have the pressure gauge here we have the throttling bulb here we have the relief bulb here we have the return line filter we have the sum tank and of course the hydraulic hoses with different fittings then we have here the directional control bulbs which is the four three-way directional valves and the double acting cylinder here now let's uh, discuss this electrical control system what are the necessary components in the electrical side we have here of course the start button sb1 start button sb2 we have the limit switch ls2 and ls1 and you have here the directional control bulb which is connected with wires here so it makes easier for us to know how to rewire this diagram okay so let us try to simulate the system now we have here the simulation i use this uh, fluid sim fist of fluid sim so we can simulate here the system this is our hydraulic and this is our electrical i am just only pushing this button and then you will see that the piston moves okay so you find it out leaving the ls1 and uh, the ls2 here opens and limit limit switch to so the the piston leaves the ls1 it closes and then when this one opens the solenoid the energizes that's why the directional bulb goes back into original state since the circuit is open we can no longer uh, there is no use of this one uh, it is no longer to be done so we are now we go with the second circuit okay as, as you can see the piston retracts from ls2 to ls1 so here now the ls1 is open and ls2 goes back to normally closed position Okay, we have here the simulation and we are using the phase 2 fluid sim hydraulic so we have here the hydraulic control system and we have here the electrical so same in our diagram we have here the start buttons start button one and start or push button one push button two or start button one start button two just the same we simulate now the system the piston moves leaving the ls1 to ls2 so ls1 now it closes here and ls2 opens that is why when the circuit is open it de-energizes the solenoid and we will try to push the push button too so as you can see uh, the circuit ls1 that piston touching ls1 so here ls1 opens it de-energizes the k2 and then when k2 is de-energized uh, it pushes by return spring to original state Okay, so this is it and we go to actual simulation. Okay, good day. Now we are going to discuss this electro-hydraulic control system. We have here the diagram of the hydraulic and we have here the electrical control circuit for the hydraulic. So we can find here the double acting cylinder. We have the LS1 or limit switch 1. We have here the LS2 or limit switch 2 and we have here the four three-way directional valve of course we have the straddling valve the pressure gauge the relief valve relief valve then we have this hydraulic pump we have this filter and we have this tank where we put the oil in here we have this electrical circuit which is 24 volts our source is 24 volts and we have the return outlet which is the ground and we can find it here we have the circuit 1 and circuit 2 in circuit 1 we have the start button 1 
and we have the LS2 connected to LS2 or limit switch 2 and we have the solenoid K1 solenoid K1 here limit switch to here okay this one for the control circuit uh, circuit number one and here we have the circuit number two which is parallel with our circuit number one so it is parallel start button number two then LS1 and then solenoid K2 here solenoid K2 where the solenoid is being attached with the directional valve now let's start to simulate this diagram so we are going to switch on the hydraulic pump now the system is running to and from suction by the pump going to the system and then goes back into the tank and we will switch on also the electrical circuit since our piston is touching the ls1 or the, the limit switch is being pressed now the normally closed limit switch one is open so we will put this one into open position so that's it now even we post this one there is no use because the current cannot flow because uh, the, the contact is open meaning to say we can only operate the circuit number one okay now i will push the button one here push the button one so when i push the button one we can see that the current can flow through over to the solenoid so solenoid now energized we have here the solenoid k1 being energized meaning that the directional valve will move to that way since our system is running to this one by just only circulating the system and now the solenoid is being energized we will try to move this one because it is being energized so we move the directional at the right side now we have this uh, hydraulic pressure we can see that the arrow from first position of the directional valve it goes into our cylinder so the, the pressure of the oil now is going to the uh, cylinder pushing the piston to the right side so we will just push the piston here so touching now the ls2 limit switch 2 and leaving the ls1 meaning ls1 now so the piston leaves the LS1, so limit switch 1 is closed. Since the piston now is touching limit switch 2, then uh, limit switch 2 is open. And now our circuit is open, so it de-energizes the solenoid. So meaning there's no more use of pushing the button here because it is already open. So no use. By lifting the finger out, it goes back to normally open our start button. Since our solenoid is de-energized, then there is no more current going through with our solenoid. We have here the return spring. Ito to lakshyan. It will bring the directional into original state, uh, pushing by the return spring. So it will go back into original position, which is this way. Kasi tinulak siya ng spring pabalik. So this is the normal state position, original position. Okay? Since our piston now is at the outward position, pressing limit switch 2, wala nang gamit si limit switch 2. So now we can go with the other circuit. So we are now going to retract the piston going this way. So by pushing the SB2 or the start button 2, there is now a current. The current flows through over to the solenoid and circulating into the electrical system. So we are now energizing solenoid K2. So here, solenoid K2, meaning this one is being energized, itutulak naman niya, the directional uh, valve will push to the left side. Okay, this is now the position of the directional valve wherein it moves by solenoid K2. Meaning that the Hydraulic uh, circulation before coming from the position number two. Now we are in the position 
uh, position 3. So the flow of the liquid or the hydraulic oil goes to this arrow, then to the cylinder, pushing the piston inward, okay, or retracting the piston. So now, the piston now is at the inward position or in, because the piston retracts, it leaves LS2. So now LS2 here is back to normally closed. And since the piston now is touching LS1, limit switch 1 is open. Now our circuit is open. So there is no more use of the solenoid because the current cannot flow through because it is open. So there is no more use, so just lift the finger out. And we have this uh, sack button in normally open position. So our solenoid is being de-energized. So here it is being de-energized, meaning uh, there is no more use. So the return spring will uh, have to do his work, okay? So a uh, spring was before compressed, now it will push the directional valve into original position. So the directional valve uh, moves into original position. Now our hydraulic oil is circulating the system coming from the pan goes back to the santan and this is how does the electro hydraulic control system works through the electrical system through the electrical uh, movement we move the piston uh, to and fro okay so if there is any question just comment and i will answer that one